Education simulation initiated. Welcome to the Lip Sync Tutorial. In this session, we will explore the most effective techniques and approaches. Let's jump directly into the main topic. Retrofuturistic classroom calibrated. Activating jump. Emotional spectrum scanned. Virtual domains calibrated and deployed. Here are today's topics. Let's jump straight to the Kling avatar, which was released recently. Go to the Kling website and click on the apps icon. You'll see a new release called Avatar. Let's click on it. You will see the build avatar option, along with choices to select from pre-made avatars. But that's not what we need. We want a custom image, so drag and drop it here. Next, upload the custom audio here. I'll use a singing input, which is also challenging for AI to capture emotions accurately. In the audio prompt, specify what is happening in the video. I'll simply write, a man is singing a song. Then choose the quality. I'll go with the maximum setting. Finally, click Generate. Here is the result we got from Kling. This is so easy. I can say it's more than enough for your next music video project, where you can use images and create lip sync. It kept the original size, and we got a full HD output. Now let's test the video to video feature. Click on the lip sync option here, then drag and drop the video you want to lip sync. Kling will start detecting the character in your video. Once that's done, you'll be taken to this screen. Click on Upload Local Dubbing or use Text to Speech. Drag and drop the audio, then click Add Speech. You will see the audio track appear on the timeline. Adjust it as needed, and then you're ready to click Generate. Let's check the result we got. This is so easy. As you can see, Kling's video to video lip sync isn't quite good enough. So we'll move on to the next approach, which can handle this task much better and for free. Infinite Talk is a free, open source model that can be used in Comfy UI. Go to the runninghub.ai website. Since you may not have a powerful PC and are using a Mac, which isn't ideal for Comfy UI, we'll use the cloud version instead. Type Infinite Talk in the search bar and choose Workflows. These are pre-built node setups created by other people, so you don't need to worry about building all the nodes yourself. I found this one to be the best video-to-video -video workflow. All links are in the description. Before we use it, you'll need some credits. Besides the 100 credits this website gives you each day, you can also use invite links to get 1,000 credits. To do this, find an invite code in the workflow descriptions, many users included there. Copy the code, then go to your user cabinet and click Invite Link. Enter the invite code by clicking here, paste the code, and then click Binding. As you can see, the 1,000 credits are now added to your account along with your daily 100. Now you're ready to use it. Click Open AI App and you'll see a pre-built app with an interface. Simply upload the video first, then the audio you want to lip sync. You can also trim the audio if needed. Since my audio is eight seconds long, I'll set the start at zero and the end at eight seconds. Now click Run and you'll see your task start here. After about three minutes, I got this result. This is so easy, easy to mix. As you can see, the result is much better. The only issue is the size. To fix this, we will use one 2.2 video HD restoration on Running Hub. As you can see, there's no standalone app yet, but you can access the workflow. When you click on it, you'll see how it's built. If you're familiar with Comfy UI and want to run it locally on your machine, you can click Export Workflow and simply drag and drop the JSON file into Comfy UI to get all the nodes pre-built. Next, find this node and upload your video. I'm using a Pro subscription, which gives me faster processing speed. Click Run. The restoration takes some time. After it's done, you'll see two versions. You need the top one. Hover over it and click Download. Let's see what we got. This is so easy. In addition to upscaling to 1080p, it really enhances details naturally, optimizes facial and skin texture, improves the texture of clothing and backgrounds, removes blur, noise, and compression artifacts, and maintains natural, realistic colors. 
So now you have an amazing free approach, especially if you're running it locally on your PC. I'm also waiting for the newest announcement of ComfyUI Native Cloud. Joining their private beta will be interesting, especially to see what pricing model they introduce. To sum up, the best tools for working with custom audio are definitely Kling for creating lip sync from images and the video to video approach with Infinite Talk and the One 2.2 Upscaler. By the way, this talking avatar with expressive hand movements was created using this Running Hub workflow. You can use it for free if you don't want to proceed with Kling avatar for image to video. By applying these skills in practice, you can create videos like this. So you wanna know how to lip sync. This is so easy, easy to mix it. You wanna know, you wanna know lip sync. You wanna know, you wanna know lip sync. You can watch the full video on my channel. And as a bonus topic for today, we'll cover VO3 and OmniHuman. While all these new tools do their job well, VO3 remains a strong option for image to video with lip sync, and it can sometimes capture emotions even better. You wanna know? You wanna know? In the song, I had these punchy one-word screams, so I decided to create them in VO3 since it's easy to sync one or two words with your music video. I used the VO3 JSON Prompt Builder, which I showed in an earlier video. Click on it and choose Prompt from Image, then upload your image. After that, it'll ask a few questions where you need to describe in detail what should happen in your video. Always make sure to mention dialogue, even if ChatGPT doesn't specifically ask whether you want to include it. Once you're done, check if everything looks correct. Sometimes ChatGPT adds its own ideas. Occasionally, they're useful, but it's often better to review and refine the prompt. When you're satisfied, copy the prompt, go to VO3, upload your image, and paste the JSON prompt. Then select VO3 as the model, choose one output, and click Generate. Here's the result I got. You want to know? You want to know lip sync? Sometimes the results are funny and unexpected, so I decide to leave them as they are. In this case, it noticed some water drops and turns them into part of the output. But the key point is, when I add the music, place my videos on top, and align the timing, you'll see it's perfectly synced, because it's only one or two words. Another good trick is to use a lot of camera switches. It makes syncing even easier. Let me show you what it looks like. After I specified the camera switches, you can see in the JSON prompt that I already have the beginning set at zero seconds, along with the camera lens and shot description. Make sure your timings don't exceed eight seconds, since VO only produces eight second videos. In this case, within those eight seconds, I added six camera shot switches. Let's see the results I got from just one image input. You wanna know lip sync? You wanna know lip sync? You wanna know? You wanna know lip sync? Ah! You wanna know, you wanna know lip sync. You wanna know, you wanna know lip sync. You wanna know how to- I've just cut the video and edited it to match the audio as closely as possible. Even if the original words don't fit perfectly, you can speed it up or slow it down. With some editing skills, this is another way to match lip sync using the power of editing. As you can see, I'm matching it in real time, constantly checking and adjusting to find the best fit. Watch around the 30 second mark in silence and you'll get the idea. See? Hope you got the idea. That's almost it for today. The last thing I want to mention is OmniHuman 1.5, which has been announced but not yet released. Still, it's worth keeping an eye on to see what they're cooking up. Introducing dual system avatars, rhythmic performances, emotional performances, context-aware audio-driven animation, text-guided, multimodal animation, multi-person scene performance. 
I've also put together a website, yarrowflasher.com, where every video is wrapped up in a blog post. You'll find extra details about each project there, plus all the prompts and bonus info in one place. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to check it out, and I'll see you in the next video.